Uh, these numbers are bad. This is not some, th these, are, these are our voters. Th these are voters that came to us in 2018, came to us in 2020, and have abandoned us in droves in two states that should be in our call. That's a big deal. That's a, that, that is, that is a, a five alarm fire. So I think Democrats have to look in the mirror now because the New Jersey situation, you don't have a bunch of critical race theory stuff there. You don't have a bunch of uh, Trump. You don't have Terry McAuliffe, you know, doing dumb. It, there's something happening out here. It could be just anti-incumbent. I think that's a part of it. But I think that there's something else that's happening. I think that, I think that Democrats are coming across in ways that we don't recognize that are annoying and offensive um, and seem out of touch in ways that I don't think show up in our feeds when we're looking at, at, at our kind of echo chamber. One other thing that I'm hearing from uh, moderate Democratic lawmakers this evening who are obviously panicked, uh, one of the things I'm hearing is that their voters, and don't shoot the messenger, I'm passing on what I'm hearing from somebody talking about what their voters feel, their voters feel looked down upon. And I'm not talking about Republican voters looking down, down um, feeling that they're being looked down upon. I'm talking about moderate to conservative Democrats feeling that they're looked down upon by pundits, by progressives. And saying that if you don't support these Democrats, if you decide to go with the Republican in Virginia, then you're, you're voting for racists. You're voting for white supremacists. And the, the messages tend to be moralizing. It's moralizing. like, it is, it's it's we right. are going to tell you, we will tell you what is right. Maybe the schools should open even if the teachers don't want, us to, want them to. Uh, maybe teachers should listen to parents more often when it comes to what they're hearing. This is from a Virginian. Uh, maybe Joe Manchin has a point when he says uh, $1.5 trillion or $1.7 trillion is a lot of money. Let's take our time with it. Let's not rush it. They think uh, that makes sense to me, and they don't want to be insulted uh, by progressives called whatever names for that. Yeah.